This video will explain the straw man fallacy. So the straw man fallacy is committed when an arguer distorts an opponent's argument for the purpose of more easily attacking it. Um, they demolish the dis distorted argument and then they conclude that the opponent's real argument has been just demolished. So here's an example. Mr. Goldberg has argued against prayer in public schools. Obviously, Mr. Goldberg advocates atheism, but atheism is what they used to have in Russia. Atheism leads to the suppression of all religions and is the replacement of God by an omnipotent state. Is that what we want for this country? I hardly think so. Clearly, Mr. Goldberg's argument is nonsense. So here, starts out with Mr. Goldberg's original argument, says he's argued against prayer in public schools. And then it immediately, what happens in the argument is they twist the argument. So it says, obviously, Mr. Goldberg advocates atheism. Now, there's nothing in the first sentence, um, there's nothing in arguing against prayer in public schools to say that you're an atheist. I mean, you might be, you might not be. Um, and it certainly doesn't mean even if you are an atheist, it doesn't mean that you're advocating that everyone should be atheist. You're just, you could be just advocating that, how about we leave prayer out of schools? Separation of church and state and all that. Um, so it, the arguer presents Mr. Goldberg's argument as more extreme than it probably is. Um, and then that more extreme argument then becomes easier to attack and show all of these reasons why that would be terrible. And then they finish, they say, clearly Mr. Goldberg's argument is nonsense. Um, they finish by concluding that the opponent's real argument has been demolished. So this is like a textbook case of the straw man fallacy.